Today I'm out here looking at this Dakin 16 kilowatt ducted unit. Um, <clears throat> so this is actually the second visit. Um, I've got the, the parts here, but I'll run through basically where we uh, where we sit. So the original call was that um, the, there was a, a previous tech that came out and said that the system would run, it would run really nicely. And then over after about 10 minutes, the compressor would just slowly start ramping down. Now they didn't have access to the, the, the Bluetooth service kit. Um, so then I came out here, plugged it in, noted that it was doing the same thing. It was basically ramping all the way down. Now the suction line was reading about 45 degrees. So <clears throat> that's what these are, the thermistors. I'll, I'll run through in the video how I basically, you know, outside of obviously seeing the temp reading 45 degrees, there are other things I do just to confirm that it is actually reading incorrectly. Um, I'll run through that in a sec. Um, but it wasn't going into any kind of like protection or fault, um, but the compressor did start ramping down after about 10 minutes. So I kind of said, look, we need to come back, replace the thermistors, um, or we'll replace the thermistor, but it comes as one of those, it's that like, um, like four into the one loom. So we'll replace those thermistors, we'll plug in the Bluetooth kit and we will get this thing back up and running and see if it still does, uh, does the same thing. So this is our bank of looms here. Pull this out. I've got currently got power isolated, but <clears throat> if I uh, chuck this under here, so the top one here is our discharge. So the next one down, uh, those two pins there are gonna be our suction line. So the first thing I did, actually, sorry, that's not true. The first thing I did was test the voltage coming back. So the board will output a five volts DC signal go down, go through the resistor, come back as a different, like obviously as a signal there that the board would then interpret as a temperature. So the first thing I did, um, and I'll show you once I turn power back on, was basically test that voltage. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Anyway, the, uh, what you can do here is all I'm doing is testing the resistance across the, the, the resistor there. Oh. All right, so. All right, so you can see that one there says 6.6. .6. All right, so these ones here are all gonna read, well, they all should read the same at ambient temp. Now, I only just isolated the unit, so it's probably gonna be a bit uh, a bit different, but it's gonna be a bit higher, all right? So you can see that one there says 27, 27 or 28 K ohms. Um, the one just above that. 30 K ohms, and then yeah, our resistor that's reading really high in temp is the one that's reading really low in resistance. Uh, and this one here is our discharge button, so we don't really just test that. Um, the next thing you can do <coughs> is, if I turn this to DC, so we'll reapply power. <coughs> now, just to confirm that the board is actually outputting the five volt, sig uh, five volt DC signal, you can kind of just get across your, right there. All right, so there you go. You can see, if I go to the one that's actually there, see? Board's outputting the five volt DC signal, all right? So then to confirm, plug that back in and then go across here. And that's the signal our, our resistor is sending back to the board, which is why it's reading so high, right? So again, the other one's here. 2.3 volts. 2.4 and then our faulty one, again, is millivolts. So, Confirmed 100% that resistor is cooked, which is why we're here to replace it. there to just give myself better access to all the thermistors because they're in uh, some tricky spots if you don't so
difference here. Oops. So this is the old one. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus. This is the old one. You can kind of see at the top there. It's formed and it's kind of coming apart a bit. And let's compare that to the new one. See, it's nice. No gaps in that, uh, whatever the black stuff is, but anyway. Power's back onto the system now, it's fired up. <clears throat> I'm now connected to the Bluetooth um, service checker, so we will um, we'll jump into the data. I'll let this thing stabilize out. We'll um, jump into the data, <clears throat> um, have a look at that suction um, suction temp, and see if this thing starts ramping down after 10 minutes. While I'm waiting for this thing to kind of stabilize out a bit, um, from my understanding, there was a leak on this. Um, and that has been repaired and fully charged to the correct um, uh, base charge with the, with the additional, uh, which you can kind of see, this is exactly what I think has taken out the uh, the suction for Mr. There. Look at that, look how discolored it is, hey. And you can kind of see now what I'm doing. Oh, hold on. Yeah. You can sort of see it bulging at the bottom there. But yeah, so I think that's what's taken out the, the suction for Mr. There. Um, yeah, it's probably been running back for about five minutes now, so I'll, uh, I'll jump onto the data now and we'll start having a look through. The main thing we'll obviously have a look at is if that suction temp's now looking pretty good, which, you know, it will be because we've replaced the mister. Um, but yeah, we'll jump into that now. Things are currently looking pretty good. Um, 11 degrees on the suction line, so a lot better than 45, so pretty happy with that. Frequency sitting about 98 hertz at the moment. Um, I think the thinking that's about 170. I'll have to double check that. But I'm gonna monitor this for the next little while. Um, just kind of see if anything starts, you know, standing out. The unit's been running for about 25 to 30 minutes now. Um, suction temps looking really good, it's about 10 degrees. Space temps gone up about two degrees. Um, and the, the compressor's sitting at about 174 hertz, which is its max. So um, I'm gonna monitor it again for another, you know, 15, 20, just to really confirm. But it seems like the major issue here is that suction for Mister. So it's a pretty cruisy one. There you go, just ramp down then. Um, yeah, main issue here is that suction to Mister. So, so compressor ramp down because that space temp uh, is getting closer to set point. So unit doesn't need to work as hard. There you go, just ramp down again. Um, yeah, we're within two degrees of set point now. So, uh, yeah, that's that's nothing to worry about. This unit also doesn't have a, an indoor suction to Mister. So the fact that it says minus fifty three is not an issue. All packed up here, man. This thing's working nicely now. So we're at, we're at about uh, just under a degree from, um, sorry, just over a degree from set point. So pretty happy. Thanks for watching.